What's up? What's up, everybody? How we doing? Welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. What's up? Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? It's good to see you. Where's my, where's my cast iron skillet? Damn it. Can't remember where it's at. Hello, hi, welcome. Watching in class. Don't get in trouble. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Not great, but all right. Hello. Hi, hello, how are you? Hi, hello, hi, how are you? There it is. Oh, it's dirty. What the hell? What the hell? It's almost Christmas. Shh, don't tell anybody. Yo, what up, space? Is there going to be a Christmas vlog? <laughs> That's a dumb question. Pfft. Has there ever not been a Christmas vlog? Has there ever been not a Christmas vlog? Answer me that. When was the last time you didn't get a Christmas vlog? If I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna vlog Christmas, at least. Minimum, bare minimum. Watching from Ireland? Yes, you are. What's up, John? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, sir. Hello, Samantha. Where's the steak? It's right here. It's, red, it's, it's getting to room temperature. It's seasoned. So we're just, you know, we're letting it do its thing. I got some garlic. I got some rosemary that I literally just pulled from my neighbor's yard. Um, and I got my cast iron skillet, which we're turning on right now. Burn, baby. Burn, burn, burn. What kind of steak are you making? Uh, it's a New York strip. It's a lovely 12 ounce New York strip. It was on sale, I didn't know that. If I knew that, I would have got a bigger steak. <laughs> I would have got I would have got a bigger one. But I was like, eh, you know. I was okay with like a $10. Was like, I think it was $11.50, $11.75 was what the sticker said. But when I rang it up, it was only $7.50. I was like, oh, I, I should have got a bigger steak. But whatever. I normally go ribeye, but the ribeyes were expensive. No tacos, no tacos. Yo, Christine Wyatt. That's a brand new channel member, let's go. Let's go, freaking hype it up, yo. Welcome, Christine, thank you so much. I don't know if we have any other channel members in the, in the chat, but I'm a ch I, can, I can drop them. Hype, hype, hype. Thank you so much, Christine, for the uh, for the support. I really appreciate that. It's very nice. It's very nice of you. What's up, Charlotte? How you doing? Mia, good to see you. New York strips are good, but I prefer ribeyes. I like I like I like I like some fat. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what the? Hi, I've been watching you for five years, and this is the first chance I've had to see you live. Happy to be here, and thank you for making great content. Yo, Tim Bit with the five dollars. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. You guys are legendary, man. Legendary. I'll drop some hype, but I'm also gonna drop some love too, because you guys are you guys are doing the thing. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um I need some oil. Some oil. I need to get some avocado oil or coconut oil. Those seem to be the best options. Oh, hi. John Conway dropping the, he's coming, he's back. John Conway is back, baby. That's why he's got a blue badge. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I need, I need one of those. Probably, I'll probably go avocado. What's up, Samantha? Is Sarah still her boyfriend? What? That didn't make any sense. Try again. Great content, thank you, appreciate that. Um, okay, so pan is hot. Give 
get it going, get it going, get it going. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Appreciate it. Does here still have a boyfriend, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm trying to get them to, you know, use their words better. My daughter's name's not Sarah, and they didn't use proper punch, you know, proper sentence formation. What time is it where I'm at? It is 3.32 p.m. What games do you play at the moment? Not a lot. Mostly Call of Duty and, um, well, that's it right now. Cyberpunk. That's the other game I want to play. Bryce has got a basketball game tonight, so. Are you having tacos? Nope, but I'm wearing my shirt in spirit. I'm, I'm gonna make a steak. I'm literally just cooking a steak, that's it. No sides, no nothing. I felt like a steak, so on my way home, I went to the store, I bought a steak, and that's what we're making. We're just gonna have a steak, because that's what I want. I see you, your, it was your sister's birthday. I don't have any sisters, sorry. Uh, yeah, she's still with her boyfriend. If you, if you watch the vlogs, I mean, she, he was just in the vlog like two days ago. Like when Sierra made her birthday cake, he literally was in the door. When we went ice skating, they went ice skating together. Like they literally were just together like a couple days ago. I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Can, can I guess what? Going to a hockey game next week, St. Louis Blues. Nice, nice. I'm cleaning underneath my blazer. Good luck with that, dude. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna throw another little bit more salt on here. And then a layer of pepper. And we're gonna throw it down. You guys ready for the sizzle? You guys ready for the sizzle? You guys are gonna hear this. You ready? Here we go. Oh! And there we go. Are you ready for the D2 DLC? No. I'm not ready for it because I know it's not here for a while. Are you making a tip of steak too? No. She'll probably eat after Bryce's game. Oh, sorry, Chuck. It's a New York strip. It's got a mar it's got like a fat marble, like kind of wavy through, like from one end to the other. It's got a nice fat cap on the outside. The ribeye was real expensive. So I went with the New York strip. And then the New York strip was on sale. I could have gotten a bigger steak, but whatever. All right, next we're going to... Woo! What the hell was that? It scared me. We're gonna chop this garlic real quick. We're just gonna kind of chop it a quarter. Like that, and we're gonna put that directly into the pan. A little more oil. Love the channel, thank you, appreciate it. Casey's trip is the best. So speaking of D2, I'm really liking the season so far. The new events are pretty cool and everybody seems to be very happy with it. Awesome, I heard good things of the dungeon. I heard the dungeon was, was, was awesome. Like dragon castle themed or something like that. Uh, Brian, she, if you're saying like her first boyfriend, Garen, no, they broke up maybe about a year. They, they broke up um, over a year ago. Yeah, it was after, right after um, homecoming, they broke up. So last, last September. And she's been with Jacob now for six or seven months. I think it's ribeye. Yo, Noah with the dollar. Let's go, bro. Thank you. Appreciate that. It was very nice. Very nice of you. Appreciate the support. Welcome. Oh, no, it's fine. I mean, it happens. They're kids. They're going to break up, you know? The, the chances of them having the same boyfriend for their entire life or same, same partner their entire life is very rare. But, yeah, Jacob's great. Jacob's a great guy, so... Sierra's happy, which makes us happy, and, you know. As long as Sierra's happy, that's all that matters. You go to the butcher for your steak? I don't have a butcher out here. The nearest butcher to me is, I don't know, maybe like 10 miles away. Not convenient. What's up, Biscuit? Am I okay? I'm all right. 
Go watch the NHL. I don't watch any sports, to be, to be honest with you. And if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I don't give two shits about sports at all. All right, we're gonna do this flip. Let me show you guys this. I flip the camera. Boom. Boom. There's our crust on the first one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Your neighbor's a butcher? Lucky. Lucky. All right, next. Butter. Butter. And we're gonna take the rosemary that I picked from my neighbor's yard. And we're just gonna kind of chop it. Chuck, uh, the next time you're in this, you're, you come this way, um, we're going to, uh, I need you to teach, like legitimately do a, a lesson in, um, in knife sharpening. I've got the tools, I do it, but it doesn't seem like it's working. So I'm missing a step, you know what I'm saying? I'm missing a step. Throw the rosemary in. Thanks. A very nice kitchen. It's all right, it, it does the job. Could you go landscape? I could, but uh, YouTube actually recommends me to go vertical because then this shows up in the shorts feed. So, do I like steak? I love steak. And I've been reading a lot about the carnivore diet and how like, I don't know, man, it's fucking crazy. Like, it's just the way science works and like technology, right? Like we, we learn more, we further our education. It's crazy like how it's almost like a lot of stuff that we grew up thinking we know. Um, was wrong, or not all wrong, but like not 100% right, you know? All right, so we got the butter in. Now we're gonna baste. What's my favorite food? Um, I mean, I don't know, like, uh, I like tacos. I like, um, sushi, ramen, chips and salsa. Favorite food is pasta. Love sushi. Yeah, sushi's good, man. Sushi's good. Some chopstick. How often do you guys see the Bevos? Mm, maybe once a month, if that. They're too busy with Mason's baseball. And then when they have a weekend with no baseball, they just want to hang at home. You know?
about some of Steve-O's hot sauce recently. Steve-O has a hot sauce? I didn't know that. What's up, Dalt? OB? Can't wait till GTA 6 releases. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really interested, to be honest with you. I have Cyberpunk and I have Starfield. So I'm very happy with those games. Um, but even if I were to play um, GTA 6, I'd wait till it to come out on PC, which is not until like 2026 or something like that. So, so even if I were interested, I wouldn't be playing until 2026. How do you go live on Twitch? You download the Twitch app and you hit go live. It's that simple. GTA 6 releases in 25 on console. PC is 2026. PC is 2026. How tall is Bryce now? Watched him back in 2017. Um, he is uh, like 6'2", more or less. Good. Pull that. Pull that bitch. Pull. One thing I did forget to do is I forgot to hit the sot, the fat cap with the sear. You'll be 24 next year. Do you make money on YouTube nowadays? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Obviously not as much as I used to because I'm not, you know, I, I, I let the channel kind of die down and dip and, you know, I was focused on Twitch for many, many years. And so Twitch was my focus and Twitch was my, was my major uh, form of income. You enjoy having no HOA? Yeah, to each their own. I, uh, I lived in a neighborhood with no HOA and it looked look like shit. The neighborhood looks like shit. You're, you know, you drive through it and you're like, this is place is a slum, slum shit. You know, cause people don't take care of their yards. Without an HOA, people don't take care of their shit. So everything looks like run down and it looks like people don't give a shit, you know? So I, personally, I don't mind paying for an HOA, especially cause my HOA takes care of all the landscaping. So everything looks great, everything looks pristine. Trees are trimmed, it's watered, all that stuff, you know? How do you make money streaming? Like that! Ding! Hell yeah. What up, Nicholas? Baked potatoes with steak? Baked potatoes stick with steak are good, for sure. I'm trying to cut back on the carbs though, so no potatoes. No potatoes. Thank you for the five dollars, by the way. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. He's not a charity. That is correct. Donos. Yeah, when I was like, donos. Get the donos. It's like you didn't donate though. Like you can't write it off, right? Donations can be written off. You know, what? you know what, chat? Listen, here's the thing. The thing I hate about cooking, the thing I hate about cooking is the fucking cleanup. When you go to a restaurant, they pay someone to clean up. You know what I'm saying? I watched one of your videos from five years ago, your son got his PS4. Yep. Are you doing another charity stream? Not this year. To watch NASCAR race? No. No, I, I don't watch sports. I, 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 when I say I don't, I don't care about sports, I mean I literally do not watch sports at all, ever. 
in my home, sports is never on the TV unless someone else puts it there. Like if the Bevos come over, they're sports because Jack puts it on, right? Uh, Tiffany will watch the Cardinals, but only if she's got nothing else going on. If there's nothing going on, she'll throw the Cardinals on, she'll watch the Cardinals, but like otherwise, we are not a sports household. Even Bryce doesn't really watch sports. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he'll he'll come down, oh, the suns are on, but we just lost the channel. Like the 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 what is it? The D-backs, the coyotes, and the Suns all went to a local channel and we're like, oh sweet, sick, we get to watch all this all the shit for free. And then they took the channel off YouTube TV. So I don't know, we can't really watch that stuff, so. Hamster racing, big fan. No, Lee, this is literally just for me, buddy. Sierra had Chipotle. Bryce is getting fed at his uh, basketball game, uh, you know, before the basketball game. Tiffany's out working. She snacks and, and eats on the go. Um, this is literally just for me. Literally just for me. I mean, I could have gotten, I could have went and got tacos, but I was like, I feel like a steak. I'm gonna get a steak. So I got a steak and now we're gonna eat the steak. Oh, I gotta clean this cast iron skillet. This is gonna suck. You miss streaming? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I miss streaming. Got an idea, streaming day where you clean the fucking garage and also all day. Honestly, dude, the garage is, it's not necessarily needs to be cleaned. I just need, I need to install shelves and some kind of storage. Cause everything's, everything is like just on the ground, right? I've got my one shelving unit that has all our bins in there for all the holiday shit. And then everything else is just, I need, I need shelves. Once I install shelves, then everything comes off the floor and then it's clean, right? There's no cleaning. Like it doesn't need to be cleaned. It just, I need to put shit, get, get the shit, you know? In fact, here, can I, I don't know if I can, uh, let's see if, I don't know if it'll, let's see if the Wi-Fi is good enough to, sh to show. Let's see. Yeah, it needs to be organized. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can be. I should be able to show you guys here. Let's see. Make sure there's no personal information. <laughs> no boxes. We say boxes for Christmas right now, so um, it's a cash go. <laughs> okay. Chuck, Chuck, you you know you know how my house is built. The two places that we have Wi-Fi are in the two rooms that need to be plugged in. <laughs> the the Wi-Fi reaches to our bedroom, which is the furthest part. I don't need Wi-Fi in the garage, to be honest. Now, one day when I need Wi-Fi in the garage, we'll add a third. We'll add a third unit because I can do three. I've got two. You know, but I can get a third. That that's possible. Anyway, I'll vlog it. I'll vlog. I'll vlog the garage if the Wi-Fi doesn't reach. Put the Wi-Fi in the ceiling. No, no. Uh, I I use the 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 Orbeez. Or, I think that's what they're called, Orbeez. And uh, it would look stupid hanging from the ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Can you see the steak? Yes, we're, we're gonna cut the steak. I was letting it rest. We were letting the steak rest. We show the garage once it's done. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Extender. Well, again, it's, it's a mesh network. So we have two, we have two routers, right? And they connect to each other. And Bryce is able to stream upstairs over Wi-Fi as if he's plugged in. So, I, I like I said, I could get a third, I could get a third module, and I could put it here in the in the in the kitchen, which then would cover the garage. So that's definitely feasible. I just don't need it, right? Like it works perfectly fine in the kitchen. I did testing when we set the two units up, but Bryce's room is directly above my room. And so that's where the two, so the routers are upstairs. Like one's downstairs, one's upstairs, but they're like this. 
Ideally, we should put it like in Sierra's room, right? Because Sierra's room is above here. And so like that would give us better coverage, but Sierra doesn't need plugged in, plugged in connections. You know what I'm saying? Like an access point. Yes, yes. Yeah, a third module. Yeah, exactly. But AKA wireless backhaul. Yes, that's Chuck's saying. But my point is for our needs, for what we need, I need to be plugged in to be streaming in my room. Bryce need to be plugged in to stream in his room. And so it, it, our com current setup is perfect. A third one would be, if I start streaming in the garage, like, if, like Chuck mentioned, if we wanna start doing streams in the garage, like let's say I get the garage all fucking nice and I'm in the garage on a regular basis and we wanna stream, 100%, I'll get, a third, I'll get a third one, for sure. What's up, Caden? Where's Bryce and Sierra? Uh, Sierra, I believe, is upstairs. I don't know, I haven't seen her, but she's here. Uh, maybe she's taking a nap, I don't know. And Bryce is at school, probably eating stuff in his face before his basketball game. All right, let me get a, a fork and knife. A fork, a fork and a knife. A fork and a knife. We're gonna fork it. We're gonna fork it. Good evening, hello, hi, how are you? You guys ready to go down? <gasps> there we go. Also, he's gonna cut on the plate, but still ask me what his answers are. Isn't that what you do at a restaurant? You get served a steak, you get you cut it on a plate, right? Wait, you, should I cut it on a cutting board and then bring it over to my plate? I thought you, you cut on a plate. And I'm using uh, this kind of knife. Am I doing it wrong? So like you, so like you're, you're serving, like let's say you have, you're having dinner with like three or four people and there's a steak per person, you cut everybody's steaks for them? Is that how you guys, I mean, if, I'm, if I have a big piece of meat and, and I'm like, you know, cutting it for the whole family, sure, I'll cut it on a cutting board and then, you know, everyone pick their own meat. But it's like, if it's just personal steak per person? Oh. Okay, fucking A. Hey, I said this, I'm, you know what, I, I, said this, I said this and then I'm gonna say it again. I, um, I'm gonna make a, a YouTube short basically saying how much of an idiot I am and with all of this more personal YouTube vlogging that I'm doing and, and live streaming, you guys are gonna realize how dumb I really am. And so I'm just gonna put a disclaimer and anytime I say something stupid or dumb or whatever, you guys can just grab that and, and be like, yep, yeah, I, I, know, I know I'm dumb, I know I'm stupid. Got my little cutting board. Pad one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, Total Chill? Drippy, drippy. Drippy, drippy. <laughs> I'm an influencer. On December 5th, steaks start flying out the stores. Oh, by the way, that was my first time ever cooking a steak on the stove. From start to finish, that was my first time ever cooking a steak on the stove. How'd I do? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> no, I've always grilled them. I've always, I've always grilled them on the, on the grill. I've never done them indoors. I've always done them outdoors, you know? I cut with the grain. Oh, I did! Because I was cutting it in half. <laughs> I, fuck, I did. I totally did. Because I was cutting cut it in half to show. Fucking Gordon Ramsay knows what he's talking about, dude. Too red? Nobody, nobody. That's that's like that's that's almost medium. That's borderline medium. I'd go more red. Or unless is that what you're saying? You're, are you saying it's too pink? Like you need it needs to be more red. It needs to be more red. Hmm. Hmm. That's fucking good. No, I like my medium rare. Anything more than anything, like medium is pushing it. It's fucking good. No vlog today. Medium is throwing the garbage. Rather have it. Too red, then we'll have done just what we're saying. Yeah, agreed. Any sides, potatoes, greens? No, just just a steak. I'll eat, I'll eat with Tiffany after Bryce's basketball game. Yeah, just just less carbs. Just just less carbs. Um, you know, chop chop. The one thing that. It's got me really, really like fascinating. Is uh, it was some space games? Um, the talk about poly, what poofas? Is that, I think is that what they're, they're, they're poofas? I think is what the, the the term is, the acronym. It's like polyunsaturated fatty acids, which is like fucking all the oils we use and um, like that shit fucks you up because it like messes with your hormones, right? And like estrogen and uh, estrogen blockers and yeah, seed oils. Yeah, that stuff I started learning recently. That's the stuff that like is really bad. There's this guy I found on um, when I was going down the the looking at carnivore diets, um, reading up on the carnivore diets. I found this one guy. He makes YouTube shorts, which are fantastic because they're short, quick, concise, and he talks about um, like one of the problems that people have about losing weight is that they're doing all these other things, but they're eating these things that are fucking with their body's ability to do stuff. And um, like I've, I've read up on it now. I've, I've watched more videos, more longer form videos. It's crazy. That's nothing that everyone, anyone ever talks about. It's like, yeah, you're eating right. You're exercising, you do all this, but you're also eating this shit that's like blocking your body's ability to burn fat. It's crazy. I almost never have those any more easier. Yeah, well, that's the thing though. It's, it's it's like it's a matter of just change. You gotta change your oils. You gotta you, you know, you know, we're used to using vegetable oil and canola oil. Like it's just standard shit, you know. And I'll be honest with you, it's gonna be it, damn near impossible to get Tiffany to switch over to, to like everything, you know. If I've learned anything in the last few years is that Tiffany is not a big like researcher and um, like I don't know, she doesn't give a shit about a lot of things. <laughs> Your name is Samir. Hello, Samir. Hello, Lucky. Yeah, ghee. Yeah, grass-fed butter. <laughs> yeah, Chuck. <laughs> I mean, she tried, you know, she, she's down to try new things. Like back when I did a vegan diet for, right, I went six months. I think she did it for a month. She did vegan for a month. Um, you know, she's she tried intermittent fasting with for, with me for like three or four days. Like she'll try things. She's all good about trying things, but it's not like I, I don't know too many things where she's done the research and go like I'm gonna do this. It's more like me going down a rabbit hole, and then she's like, I'll try that, and then she does it for a couple of days or a week or a month or whatever, and she's like, okay, I did it, and yeah, that's it. Eat vegetable for years and I hated it when I went to a friend's house I couldn't eat anything. 
Yeah, avocado oil seems to be the, the main the main go-to. Going vegan is crazy commitment. I don't blame her. Yeah, I went, I did six months vegan. And here's the thing, like the more I'm reading about eating red meat, like research, new studies, things are coming up now. It's like red meat's actually like, and here's the thing too. Again, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just fucking spitting random shit out that I've seen on the internet, okay? Woo, internet crazy shit. We've always been told not to eat red meat, cut back on the red meat because of saturated fats and, and cholesterol and, and heart problems, all that shit, right? That might be true, but there's all these other benefits of eating red meat that people don't talk about, right? It's the same thing when people say, like right now, right now, carnivore diet's a huge thing. It's a, it's one of the, it's another fad diet that's come up. You know, people are like literally, like if you guys know who Jordan Peterson is, him and his daughter have literally ate nothing but beef for like five years. Like imagine that. Think, listen to what I just said. They've eaten nothing but beef for five years. <clears throat> like, are you fucking crazy? It's insane, right? But it's one of those things where it's like, the carnivore diet is the exact opposite of the vegan diet, right? Vegan is no animal products. Carnivore is only animal products. And yet, and yet, human beings on this planet are both surviving and living healthy lives doing both. So it's like genetics play a huge part. Everyone's bodies are different. You're allergic to things that I'm not allergic to. You eat things and you get infl inflammation, you get, you know, uh, bloated, you get sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's different. Yeah, Joe Rogan's got a few podcasts on it. Remember when the mouse went inside the in engine in the truck? Yeah. Yeah, you know what's funny is a couple years after that, that video and, and the, the mouse obviously died or whatever. I took my truck in to get service and my buddy worked in the Toyota um, uh, mechanic, did, you know, in the dealership. And he saw my truck and said, oh, I'll work in your truck. He's like, bro, you know you got like rat shit in, in your cabin air filter? And I was like, really? And it clicked, I was like, oh my God, dude, there was a dead, there was something dead in my truck. For, for like a month, I couldn't, I could never find it. I, I, I went all in my truck with my flashlight trying to find it. And apparently he got into the point where he fucking, these rat turds, and it was like in the cabin air filter, which means I was breathing that shit in. I was like, oh great, great. Been following since I do it digital. That's a long time, bro. I like my taco Tuesday, thank you. That's a long time. Uh, hey, Lucky, if you wouldn't mind, dude, take the caps lock off. You don't need to, you don't need to be, caps lock like that's like you're yelling, you're screaming. So just, just, just take the caps lock off, you're good. I, I, I'm seeing chat, you're good, you're good, you're good. Hey, what's up, Gregory? Oh, I don't feel bad. It's just kind of crazy story, you know? Mm. Mm. That's another thing. That's another thing. Those fats that he talks about, salmon's one of them. Salmon's like a big part. I'm like, oh shit. Like the oils and acids that he talks about is like, salmon is one of those and I'm like, oh. I love salmon. I love salmon. I'm gonna look it up for that once. You look at my engine, yeah. Try paneer butter masala. Never heard of that. How's my day been? It's alright, Brett. I don't know, man. I've been I was in a funk yesterday, that's why I didn't vlog. And uh I've kind of been in a funk today too. That's why honestly, that is literally why when I was driving home and I was like, I feel like a, a steak. I was like, I, I talked to Tiffany. I was like, hey, what dinner plan? She's like, no, no dinner plan. I'm like, okay. She's like, I'll probably eat after Bryce's basketball game. I said, okay. And so I was like, you know, I'll get some tacos or something like that. And I was like, you know what? I feel like a steak. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go get a steak and just cook a steak. And that, I'm going to eat this. It's four o'clock. Bryce's game is at 530, which means we'll be done about 630, about seven o'clock. It's three hours from now. I'll be hungry.
Not your average Tyler, been watching for a while. First live. Yo, dude, welcome. Thank you for the $2, I appreciate that. Whole Foods near you? I don't, Chuck does. If you had to eliminate a condiment forever, it would be ketchup. Fuck ketchup. <laughs> Nothing wrong with taking a day off from streaming? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm streaming. I, I'm taking a day off from um, vlogging. That's all. Hey, what's up, Alex? Huh, I appreciate you, man. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you. Maybe hot tub stream with some jacks. With some jacks? Like, oh, like Jack, like Jack Daniels? I don't like Jack Daniels. I don't like bourbon. Type of cottage cheese recipe with Mindy Masala. Oh, okay. What's up, your boy? Yeah, I don't do bourbon. I definitely don't do Jack. I got some good tequila. My brother, my brother just bought me a new bottle of tequila. They're open the other night. Oh, see, I'm the opposite. I love mustard. Love mustard. Hate. Well, I don't hate ketchup. I'll do ketchup. Oh, you out of here, Chop? Dude, chat's like this big. <laughs> I got Oh, it muted it. Oh, interesting. My phone was ringing. No, my phone was ringing. That's what it was. I was just, I was just gonna say, I can't answer the phone when I'm streaming. That's the problem with streaming from your phone. Yeah. That's one of my employees. I gotta, I have to, I'll have to call him back in a minute. In fact, I'm gonna text him real quick. Apple products. Ready for Christmas? Not really. Chuck, does the focus mode, it does. You know what, I, I, was, I, I was gonna ask, does it work when the phone's unlocked? Does it work when it's unlocked? I thought it only worked when it was locked. I honestly assumed it was only when the phone was locked because if the phone's open, like, stuff's still gonna pop up. But if that's the case, yeah, duh. Every time I go, every time I go live, just put on do not disturb. Hmm. I just assumed it was only work if it was locked. Cause I do, I put, you know, do not disturb when I'm, I had a sleep mode on and. What's up, Casey? Mustard oil? Didn't know there's such a thing. Use ketchup on more things, but don't like it as much. I literally, I don't put ketchup on anything. I don't ever pour ketchup. The only time I ever, ever use ketchup is when Tiffany has it for her french fries. That's it. What are my thoughts on kick? I would never stream there solely exclusively. I have no desire to move platforms again and start over. Um, huh, ketchup and ranch, nice. Um, I would multi-stream there, but the free account you get with Restream, you can only stream in two places and it makes more sense for me to stream on Twitch and YouTube. Um, if I could do a third, I would definitely just turn on Kick. But um, my whole thing is, is that when I look at Kick, it looks like Mixer 
right? They copied and paste Twitch like almost to a, to a T. Like if you look at Twitch, you look at Kick, they're almost identical, like the way they, they're, they're structured and everything's laid out. Um, and right now, the only benefit, the only benefit a creator has on Kick over Twitch is the 95.5 split. They don't have any kind of bits or tipping mechanism built in. There's no ad revenue, because lol, they don't know who wants to advertise there. Uh, maybe one day, maybe one day. Um, and so like, there's there's really no incentive for me to go there. I, 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 I'm kind of semi-retired from, um, from full-time content creation. I work with my dad and my brothers and I'm helping to build the business. Um, so there's no reason for me to go to kick. Again, I would multi-stream there if I could for free. I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks a month just so I can stream on kick and TikTok. I don't care about enough. Honestly, I don't like multi-streaming. I don't, I, like I'll do, I do it because it's convenient when I'm in my, my office, but like I really don't, <clears throat> I, I don't like having two chats. It's too confusing. It's Streamlabs. Stream, well, yeah, third, you have to have a third party tipping system. I'm saying they don't have one built in. Like YouTube has super chats and super thanks and um, uh, you, Twitch has bits. Kick doesn't have anything at the moment. It's in the works, I know. You see the GTA 6 trailer? I didn't, I didn't. You ever tried DAL? I don't know what that is. What is DAL? D-A-L, I don't know what that is. Yep, uh, Nazari, we provide their burgers. I know where they get their fries. I mean, they're nothing, they're nothing special, but their shoestring fries are good. But we, pro yeah, we, we provide them like 90% of their food. The, ki the kitchen manager over there is awesome. He, uh, well, I shouldn't say he owns the kitchen. It's not even a kitchen manager. He, the kitchen is separate from the bar. But burgers and fries are solid. Uh, he makes really good wings. He makes his own ranch. Dude, his ranch is fire. He told me his recipe. I just gotta figure out the quantity. So I'm like, I, he makes a big bowl. So I know, the, I know what the ingredients for the bowl, I need to figure out downsize, you know? What are your plans for after working with your dad? After working with my dad? I have no idea, dude. That's five years from now. And if you're confused, the audience is even worse. Yeah, sure, Kitty. I mean, in certain instances, it makes sense. In certain instances, if, if, I'm, if I'm, not, I'm not playing a game, like I feel like just chatting, I can go back and forth pretty fast. If I'm paying attention to chat and not being distracted, I can bounce between two chats easily. And I've gotten better at saying over on YouTube, over on Twitch, blah, 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 right? Um, gaming's a little more difficult, especially since Clint's Games is dead, like literally a dead channel. Um, I only stream there to try and get monetization back. And then once monetization comes back, I might put some videos up. We'll see. Do you like cooking burgers? I love making smash burgers. It's my family, Nazari. Tiff's dad did own, own a restaurant downtown by the airport, uh, but he sold that. I don't know, six, seven years ago, eight years ago. What's up, Dave? They're moving, Nazari. They're moving to the the the, the road because they need to expand that road. If you know if you know what road I'm talking about, it's only one. It's like one lane. They need to expand it, and so they're moving the bar. They're building a brand new one. They're building a brand new. So, but it's like two years away, which was two years ago. <laughs> the city keeps moving them, so. How's my day? My day's all right, Isaiah. It's better now. I'll be honest with you. I, 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 had, I had a steak. I'm live streaming here on YouTube. I'm very happy now. The day was meh until now. I actually went to a court and stood in line, only to be told that I didn't have all the proper documentation. Actually, that's not true. I got told that I didn't follow the proper steps, and I'm like, I have what I need here. And he's like, but did you do this? And I'm like, that's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you if this is what this is what that is. He's like, It'll tell you in the instructions. I'm like, I understand that. Is this what the instructions were talking about? He was nice. He printed the, he printed the instructions, everything, and he started like flipping through pages and reading this. I said, oh, yeah, I've read this. This right here is this paper. He's like, oh, great. Okay, good. So you want to put that in the mailbox and do this? I'm like, yeah. He goes, but you still need to make sure you do this step. I'm like, you're right. So I'll go do this at the same time and be back. But it was just like, we were, like it was almost like we were playing Ring Around the Rosie, and I'm like, I don't have the instructions, but I read the instructions. I didn't think I needed to fucking print a manual. I read the manual. I don't. I didn't even think I needed to print it. He didn't know what the fuck the manual said, so he was asking me, like, "Did you did you read the manual? Did you, is that what the instructions say? This comes with instructions." I'm like, "Yes, I understand that." And so as soon as he printed it, I was like, "Yeah, I've read that. This right here is this document here. 
this step right here is where I'm at right now. I'm asking you if this is, and he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, you know, just an hour of my day, no big deal. So drinking your ranch water? Yeah, ranch water is like my, my I, I drink more ranch waters now than I do margaritas because there's one less ingredient and it's just a little more crisper and lighter. Um, Space Gamers, I don't know what currency that is, but thank you for the 179 of them. I'm not sure what that is, but thank you. I appreciate that. Dal is an Indian recipe type bean with high protein. Oh, okay. I've seen it as D-H-A-L. Also spelled D-H-A-L or D-A-I-L or D-A-A-L. It's a side dish made with yellow split peas that are cooked with spices and become a lovely shade of yellow. So you like dip like naan in that? Yeah, it looks great. Yep. Rupee is Indian currency. Are those, are those rupees? Oh, cool. Well, thank you very much. What's your favorite kind of cheesecake? Oh, I don't have, honestly, Darian, I, I, I be honest with you, I don't have a favorite. I feel like I haven't had a wide variety, like New York style cheesecake, a really good New York style cheesecake with a little bit of strawberry puree or fresh strawberries is like, but is it my favorite? Like if I were to go to Cheesecake Factory now, I would, I would see what the menu has and see if they've got some kind of um, um, like something with berries or I like Oreo, like Oreo cheesecake is good. My favorite cheesecake is yes, that's, that's it, yeah. T Sierra bought me a churro cheesecake for my birthday. It was delicious. I love cinnamon. I'm a big fan of cinnamon. Homemade cheesecake, of course. Homemade everything's better, Nazari, come on. Anything homemade is better. In your early 20s, how did you learn to manage your finances? Um, Mika, Namika, Namika is I, I'm sorry to say your name. Um, it really just comes down to you have to pay your bills, right? And so knowing when your bills are due and how much your bills are worth. So when I first moved out of my, my parents' house and I was on my own, I had a bulletin board. Now this is back before the internet, so bear with me on this. I had a bulletin board. And when I got a bill in the mail, I would take the bill out, I would thumbtack it to the board, and I would write the due date. The amount and the due date. Now, I was, a, I was a server at the time, so I made tips. I didn't get a paycheck. So every time I worked, I came home with 100 bucks, 120 bucks, 150 bucks, whatever, right? And so what I did was, I'd have all my bills, and they'd be kind of like on the bulletin board, like in chronological order, right? And I'd be like, okay, first bill due is, on the first of the month is, is rent. So rent was like $300. So when I made 300 bucks, I grabbed the money. At the time it was my roommate, so I just gave him, gave him the cash. That bill's done, right? But like APS, you'd have to write checks. Back in the day, you had to write a fucking check and put it in the mail and ship it. So that's what I would do. I would go to the bank, deposit all my, deposit all my cash, because I had cash, and then I'd write checks. I'd be like, all right, APS, water. Uh, I had a computer payment, because I, I, I financed my first computer that I built. Like, my parents bought my first computer when I was in high school, but I left that at my parents' house when I moved out. And I, I, I built a Dell online and financed it. It was like 20 bucks a month, 25 bucks a month like that. So that was a, a payment that I had to make, you know? So that's it. It's just managing your finances is being aware of your financial situation. How much money do you make per week, per month, whatever, right? And how much money are, is required to go out every month, right? And, and the bills are just the basic, the minimum, right? You still have need gas, you still need food, and, and you need clothes. Like there's still expenses that you have to like equate for, you know, that's not like a bill, right? There's not like a bill that says, hey, here's your grocery bill, right? Unless you like put it on a credit card and then you get your credit card statement and it says, here's your credit card statement. So the biggest thing is, is making sure that you're making more than you need, right? Living within your means. If you know that you can't afford you know, a $200 payment right now, then don't go get that $200 payment. 
Yo, Todd, think of the $2, man. <clears throat> when you and your wife go to a cabin, do you hike? Yeah, we love we loved walking, we love the outdoors, absolutely. Bro, try some Indian recipe, I bet you will. Uh, do I love Indian food? I, 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 yeah, I, they don't have any Indian restaurants around here, um, but uh, I've been to a few and, I, and I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of food, dude. There's, I haven't found any food that I don't like. Be a harm honest with you. Like I've had Indian food, you know, uh, you know the traditional stuff, the tiki masalas. Um, I've had some different curries. Um, I love like hummus, naan. Um, again, I know I'm blending stuff here, but this is the stuff that you get from, you know, when you go to a place like that. Like I'm down to try anything. I'm down to try it all. I love it. Like I'm good. Um, yeah, but, but my, my my wife's not so adventurous. My wife's not so adventurous. She wouldn't like, ooh, yeah, Indian food. I'd have to go get a dish, bring it home, let her try it, you know? What I have for dinner? I made a steak, but that's not quite dinner. That's more like my lunch. Thoughts on GTA 6? I don't have any. I don't care. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a fan. I haven't even watched the trailer yet. When it comes out, I'll take a look at it. I'll, I'll take a look and see what's up, but um, I'm a big fan of Cyberpunk 2077, and they just had a big update. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to jump back into the expansion. But there's just too many other video games going on. There's a new, there's a, there's a, a big anticipated game that is coming out tomorrow, I think. It's finally releasing. So I'm like, uh. And then there's another game that I, I got introduced to and the guy reached out to me, but I haven't replied back to him yet. I, I feel bad, I need to get back on that. But my thing is, is I'm kind of, the day before, yeah. That's, that's the one. There's that one and there's another one too. What's up, Jack? Are you streaming on Twitch too? Not right now, this is just YouTube. Um, Mediterranean food, absolutely, yeah. Again, guys, when I say I, there's probably some food I haven't tried, I haven't had, but every food that I've tried, I've loved. I've, there, there has not been any food that I'm like, oh, I'm not a fan. I love food, I'll eat any of it. By the way, did you look at the wheel and pedals? No. Anyway, um, I'll be honest with you guys. Because I'm getting back into YouTube and vlogging, that is like my sole focus. I'm not even paying attention to video games right now. And I'm not not gonna stream. I still love streaming. This is still my favorite thing to do. If I could stream every day, I would, but I can't. Well, I can't, I can, but if I could stream full time, I would. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was possible for me to stream at the warehouse, down at the, I would stream every day, but it's not feasible. You know, maybe we, we move, we get a new warehouse, we have Wi-Fi everywhere, like maybe, but that warehouse is, like when you're in the cooler, you have no reception. Walking around the dock is spotty. It's just not a good environment. Uh, plus there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of people moving in and out, it's loud, it's noisy, there's just a lot of shit. People talking shit, you know, it's just not an environment for, for social. But uh, my point is, if I could stream every day, full time I would. I love streaming more than anything else, but I can't, so, I'm doing more vlogging. I'm back into vlogging, I'm back into YouTube, Clintus TV 2.0. Um, and I'm going down the rabbit hole of like relearning like what's what works, what doesn't. I, I found this guy uh, the other day on Twitter about titles. And I, I literally signed up for his newsletter, but then I copy and pasted like the, the article that he wrote and put it in my notes for later. And I'm gonna use that to help me build titles and shit. Um, I'm having to rebuild my audience. Even though I've got, someone said congratulations on 787,000 subscribers. That's great, it's, it's nice to see that number, but it's meaningless because obviously I don't have 787,000 subscribers. Like obviously, like think about that. If I actually had 787,000 subscribers, do you think there'd be more than 60 people here right now? You think that my vlogs would get, you know, 100,000 views, a million views? I, you know, just saying, like subscribers don't mean anything. Let me say it loud in the back. Subscribers don't mean anything, so don't care about the number. Just making sure the people in the back heard me. Uh, Space Gamers, another two dollar. I don't know how much that is, but thank you. Um, cook some Indian dishes, or now in India is four fifty three. Awesome, thank you, thank you. Aren't there a few hundred thousand in the arena right now? Honestly, metrics wise, I would say less than ten thousand. Realistically, because uh, if you look at if you look at my numbers, and that really tells me, like the pop off in the first like forty eight hours, that's my subscribers, right? But uh, the problem is, is that it depends on what the video is about. If I put Bryce in the video, 
if it's about basketball or whatever, then they, that, those people come out of the woodwork. But just my everyday run of the mill, hey, it's just me in the thumbnail doing, you know, talking about something boring, they skip, skip, skip. So, exactly, Chuck, 100%. So, I'm okay. Like, here's the good thing. Here's the good thing. I am growing for the first time in a long time. I'm, I'm positive day after day after day. For a long time, it was um, gain subs, lose subs, gain subs, lose. Like, it was literally like a, a, a up and down, up and down. Um, and for the last, well, steadily, last, the end, end of November, I gained positive subs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row. So one week straight, positive subs. One day went below zero, then back up, uh, oh, excuse me, two days zero, back up, like, I gained like 40 new subs in one day, then negative one, then back up the last three days positive. So I am, as of the last 28 days, gained 282 new subs, um, which is 173 more than usual because when I first started daily vlogs, people were unsubscribing, like left and right. I appreciate it, Space Gamers, thank you. And thank you for all the, the, the super chats. Thank you very much. I'm interested in these vloggers you found recently that you like, grew up vlog style, you mentioned a couple of times, fantastic. Oh yeah, Chuck, honestly, right now, most of them are travel vloggers. Um, I just found um, like a plant dude um, who like talks about his plants, but then he goes and like interviews people in LA with big plant collections. He, re he interviewed this, his, I guess, I think it was his friend of his, but like, dude, his house was a fucking jungle. And I was just like, Brrr! like, that's my, my shit that I get gout on. I appreciate it, Samir. Thank you. Your Christmas tree? Yep, it's over in the corner. I put, I put a vlog up about it. What's up, Jack? How's your day going? It's all right, man. It's all right. Appreciate you, though. Appreciate you being here, Ollie. I've been following you for a long time. Stop pushing me in your vids or something, but I've been seeing your actors ever short. So. Yeah, um, Wang, Wangku? Is that something you wagu, Wangu? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize. Wan? Wan? Um, yeah, well, I wasn't posting regularly. So, you know, because I wasn't posting regularly, there wasn't a lot of content to be pushed out to you. And now that I'm more active and I'm putting up content pretty much every day, um, I'm being recommended out more. The cool thing too is, and Chuck, this will be fascinating for you to watch, uh, to see next time we're together. I'll show you my analytics. My old videos have pretty much stopped getting views, which sucks holistically, right? Holistically speaking, it sucks that my old videos are not getting views, but that also means that only my new videos are being recommended and pushed. So like my top 10 videos are all new videos, like in the last month. November 19th, the short that I just posted of Scaring Tiffany, November 26th, November 24th, November 25th, November 7th, November 30th, December 1st, November 9th, November 23rd. All videos from November or December are in my top 10. Now, with that being said, top 10's pretty me, right? The number 10 video is just under 5,000 views. So not bad, that was posted on my birthday. Um, it's got 5,000 views, not bad in like my new norm. But I think it's because I, I changed my, ta my, my tags up. So it's grouping those old videos with the old tags and my new videos with my new tags. I think that's what's happening, which I'm totally okay with. I, don't get me wrong, if a kid finds my old videos, like, oh, these kids are cool. And like, you know, a, a, a 13 year old, 12 year old finds my videos and then like, goes binge watch my videos, awesome. The chances of them coming to my new videos and going, oh, he's not, he's not, you know, fun, his kids are all grown up, these your videos are boring. I'm okay with that. Thanks for watching the old videos. Go back, watch the three other thousand videos I have. My focus right now is, you know, that like 18 plus demographic, 20 plus demographic. That's that's my new my new my new focus, you know. Maybe YouTube saw a change and react and be interesting to see if they push the Christmas vlogs coming out. Christmas vlogs are already starting to pop off. I looked at my analytics this morning at my top like 20 videos. Top 10 are all new. The next 10, like six of them are Christmas videos. They're starting to pop off already. Oh, you don't have to, no, Jungle, don't, I appreciate that, dude. You don't have to go back and watch the old videos. You guys don't have to go back and watch the old videos if you don't want to. Don't, don't feel like you're doing me a favor. Honestly, though, 
watch my new ones. Like that's what I care about. I don't care about the old videos of the kids. Like, it's, like I said, this is Clintus TV 2.0. I'm, I'm, I made a break when I was only vlogging like once a month. I posted like once a month, once every other month. I was kind of making this break off and then I went back to daily vlogging and it's like, we're back bitches. What's up Alfonso? Appreciate it Dalton. I mean, it was hilarious, yeah. Yeah, evergreen content, yeah. And that's the thing too, everything that I'm researching, everything that I'm, I'm watching and, and reading about, um, daily life vlogs are <clears throat> like, you gotta have a niche, you gotta have a topic, you gotta have the, the thing. And, and this is for anyone that's listening that, that has any thoughts about doing YouTube. Think about you going to YouTube and searching for something, right? Doesn't matter what it is. It does not matter what it is. You're searching for a topic or a thing, right? You're, you're like, how to do this, the best this, um, you know, a hotel, a destination for vacation, um, tips and tricks. Like, you're searching for something. Those are the things to make YouTube videos about. If somebody would search for that thing, then make videos about that thing. No one's searching for day in the life. Trust me, I have it set for, like I, I research that, right? Day in the life is not something that people are searching for like holistically. Um, daily vlogs are not something people are searching for. Like granted, we're talking like, like minuscule numbers. Yes, people obviously are searching for, but in the grand scheme of things, you want, you want me to tell you what my, my audience is searching for? I'll tell you right now. This, these are, last 28 days, these are the search terms by ranking what my audience, meaning the people that watch my videos, are searching for right now on YouTube. You ready? I'm gonna catch up on chat real quick. Medium rare, yeah, my steak was awesome, dude. Rain maize, steak was awesome. It was, it was like medium. First time cooking in a cast iron skill on the stove. Most vlogs are super flash and annoying, yeah. Okay, here's what my audience is searching for, you ready? Number one search result right now, number one search term, excuse me, not result, number search term, Christmas morning. That's my number one, what my, what my viewers are searching for more than anything else, Christmas morning. Number two, PS4. Now, what that tells me is, I rank highly for those terms. It's not that my viewers are looking for those. That means that many, that number of people, a large amount of people, search that term and click them on one of my videos. That's what that means. So it's a little deceiving. It's a little, if you think about it, but I, again, I know, how, I know how to read YouTube. So what that means is, is a large number of people search for that term and a large number of them clicked on my video. That's what that means. So PS4, PS5 unboxing, which I don't even have a PS5 unboxing video. I don't have a PS5 on my channel at all. And yet PS5 unboxing, opening Christmas presents, lover boy? Is that a song? Is that a Taylor Swift song? It sounds like a Swift, Taylor Swift song. I don't know. Black Friday shopping, basketball shoes, Christmas morning opening presents, Thanksgiving vlog. I just added that term to my Thanksgiving video recently, by the way. PS4 unboxing. Bryce's PS4 video still gets a lot of views. PS4 slim, how to make a fort. I have a fort, I have a couple of fort videos. Tickle monster. That's something I went in and I, I removed all the tickle videos. This is how we bingham Christmas. Interesting. Number one channel that my audience shares an audience with is this is how we bingham. Uh, door dashing. My door dashing videos are popping off. And Chuck, I wish you could. I wish there was a way. Maybe you know a back door way. There is no way that I know of publicly. And I've searched for it. There's no way for me to find out what Google term search terms are driving traffic to my videos. All it says is external. Drill down. Google search. That's it. There's no more drill down. I can't see what terms are driving people to my channel, right? Because we all know Google is different for everybody else, right? When I search for door dashing, my videos don't pop up, but they're popping up for everybody else. My, my last door dash video has like 30,000 views. They got rid of the, they got rid of the analytics side. I can't, I can't hook in my Google analytics to YouTube. They got rid of that. 
I know back in the day I could. Back in the day I could see the drill down. They got rid of it. So and unless there's something else. Yeah, search console. Okay, yeah, you have to show me how to do that. I would love to know how to do that. Yeah. Casey, um, I'll answer that question in a very particular way, okay? Have you ever seen me vlog at church, going to church, mentioning going to church or coming back from church? If you can answer that question, you have your answer. But maybe you're new to the channel and you've never watched my videos before, then you would not know that answer. Anyway, it's just fascinating to see what my audience is searching for. And the funny thing is, it's all kid terms. So it's unfortunate that I still have a very heavy kid demographic. I want to shift to a more adult demographic and it'll happen over time. I just have to rebuild, I have to rebuild the channel. I have 3,000 videos. I have 787,000 subscribers, but I'm essentially starting over. I'm not starting at zero. I'm fortunate that I don't have to start at zero, but I'm essentially starting over and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with starting over and rebuilding the channel in the way I wanna build it. And the good news is I've already become a full-time YouTuber. I've already quote unquote made it, right? I climbed that mountain. I talked about this on, the, on my podcast. If you guys wanna go back and watch that podcast, I talk about this in detail. I climbed that mountain. I put my, my flag on the top of that mountain. I conquered it and I moved on. And then I went to the Twitch live stream mountain and I climbed that mountain and I made it as a full-time streamer. Streaming was my full-time income. I got a co paid contract. I was a paid Twitch streamer. Twitch paid me to stream. I had a paid contract. They stopped doing that. And when that contract expired, unfortunately I didn't have enough subs. Um, I didn't have enough subs and, and, and other revenue sources. I had needed a, a, I was borderline like right there, like it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. I might need a part-time job. I was like, you know what, dad, hey, I can help you guys at the warehouse. I'll help you guys at the warehouse. And that's where we come back to a year later and where we're at. A part-time job became a full-time job and now I'm helping build my dad's business, and my brother's business. Got it, Chuck, thank you. What's up, Ben? What about the Buffalo Wild Wings one where you almost burnt your mouth off? That happened. What about just making a new channel and the people that care will move on? I don't wanna do that. Um, I, people, people have said that and, and people have said, and I agree, I agree with this. If I started a new channel, I would most likely get more views on the new channel than I do on this current channel. And I could definitely start over. I could definitely create a new channel tomorrow, start uploading vlogs and within 90 days, I could be partnered. I can almost guarantee that. That's how confident I am, but I don't want to. Clintus TV is my life. It's my journal. I've been documenting my life for 17 years. I don't wanna stop, I don't wanna start over. I don't wanna start over like with a new channel. Like I want this channel and by the time I'm 60 years old, have 10,000 videos of my, of my life. That's what I want. I want the gold play button, right? I want the Clintus TV gold play button. I don't want a play button that says, Clintus does it over, right? Or Clintus starts over, like I, I don't want that, I want the gold play button that says Clintus TV. So if it takes me 10 years, it takes me 20 years. I'm here for it. Thank you, Gio, I appreciate it. I love the food challenges, one of my favorite videos are the cooking videos. Cooking videos are definitely gonna continue to happen. Cooking, I love to eat, and I just need to make some, uh, some, some quick changes in here, arrangements, but honestly, at the same time, like I don't wanna overthink anything. I don't wanna have to, build stuff and buy stuff. I'm just like, this is my phone on a freaking selfie stick and I, I'm, I'm streaming, I'm, I'm here, All right? I, put, I pushed the record button, went go live, I'm here. If I overthink it, if I start, oh, I gotta buy this piece of equipment, now I gotta wait for that piece of equipment. Oh man, it's the wrong size. I need two more lights. I, guess what happens? You never go live, you never stream. You just gotta do it. If you wanna do something, you just fucking do it. How was Sears birthday? It was great. If Google dash, DoorDash vlogging, some of your videos do pop up, doesn't for me. 20, try and move out, prices being so high these days. It, Landis, honestly, dude, we were just talking about that with um, Sierra, you know? Like she's not looking to move out anytime soon, but if she wanted to, it'd be very hard. It'd be very hard, you know? 
Favorite restaurant? I, I don't really have one. Um, there's a taco shop near my house that I would say right now is my favorite shop, my favorite food, my favorite restaurant. It's a taco shop though, it's very, it's tacos and they're fucking fire, like the best. I'm so, we have this taco shop because I'm spoiled. I've gone and eaten tacos at the, we have two taco places near my house. That one is so good that it ruined this one for me. Like I don't even want to eat at this other place. This one's so good, I don't even want to eat that one. And that one's closer, <laughs> more convenient. So, feel the streams, do it and they will tune in. Love the basketball vlog. You're gonna get one tomorrow. Bryce has a game tonight. Which I, by the way, I've gotta start wrapping things up because I gotta change and clean up the kitchen before Tiffany gets home. So I watched you when you were 11. You're turning 18 in five months. Bro, Dizzy Daniels. You're a legend, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, that is probably one of the, that's probably one of my favorite comments to get right now is people coming back to the channel. They're like, yo, you're still vlogging? I, I, I used to watch you when I was in elementary school, dude. I'm graduate, this is my, I'm, I'm a senior. Or yo, I started watching you back in high school. Now I'm graduating college. You know, like, I started watching you when I was in high school, college. Now I'm, you know, I'm in the military or I, I, I just got married. Like, those are my favorite comments. Cause it's like, I've been doing this so freaking long that I literally, I mean like Sierra's 19. She was two when I started the vlogs, right? Bryce wasn't even born yet and he's 16. So it's one of those things where it's like, if you were 10 when you found me, now you're 26, right? So how tall is Bryce? He's like 6'2". Oh, Tiffany's home. Anyway, you guys, legendary stream. I love you. I hope you enjoyed the little cooking stream. Like I said, I gotta work on some camera angles and be able to flip the camera around a little bit better. But like I said, it was impromptu. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Bryce's basketball game. I will vlog it. Uh, it'll probably be a short vlog just around basketball. I'm gonna change the frame rate also. Um, so be on the lookout to that and see. I think for the basketball vlogs, I might do 60 just because at 24, it's really hard to follow him on the court. It gets really blurry because the phone's not really 24, not really 24P. Um, so I think I'm going to uh, do 60 today and, uh, and we'll just vlog basketball and dinner and whatever we do. So yeah, it looks great when it's just me, right? When I'm just vlogging, you know, small pans and it's just me. Love 24P, that's why I shoot everything in 4K, 24P. That's my new standard. But for his, for his basketball, I'm, I'm, I think minimum 30. Minimum 30, but I can do 60, so I might as well just do 60. So, 120, super slow-mo. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out and, and, and uh, hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys on the next one.